More semantic obfuscation. All right, welcome back to the party, everybody. I am your host, Lutch, a.k.a. the Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of Common Sense. And tonight, we are taking a look at the worst and most obvious example of semantic obfuscation I have seen in a long time. And it is, it, it is bad. It is bad. So let's dive right into this and see what the hell is going on. So the Cambridge <laughs> Dictionary, and I always want to say Cambridge Analytica, it rolls That's off the tongue. Mm -hmm. That's the Cambridge Dictionary uh, just changed the definition of woman. Really? Yeah, which brings us to uh, the oh, segment geez. this week. Uh, the experts are wrong. Yeah. No. Are you telling me the experts got it wrong? No way. So, feels good. Let's go back just so you see how words are changed, right? Dangerous. That's the word that's used now for the patriots out there. We'll get to that in a second. Thank but now, Kelly? woman, if we change the definition of woman, that's how you have new YouTube policies. Yeah. We just could have been banned accidentally over not gendering Sam Britton properly. Correct. Trust the science. Trust the experts. Well, the experts have said that, by the way, how we've defined woman since the beginning of modern history. I know some people say, oh, what, what, what? Adult human female, right? We, we all agree with that. There's some Native American tribe that had a third gender. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they just decided they were wrong about that. And here's the thing. Remember in school, you used to have to show your work? Yeah. You couldn't just give the answer? Yeah. Worst part of math homework. You had to show how you got to that answer. Hey, Cambridge, show your work. Show your work. What changed? How are you wrong for all time? Show your work. So let's go back to <laughs> then. All right, you ready? How Cambridge ready? defined uh, woman for most, and by that I mean all of human history. This is this is in the way back machine. By that I mean two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> An adult female human being. A wife or female sexual partner. Huh. That was, those were the definitions of a uh, woman. They even gave some examples. Let's just say, well, that's out of context. Like, <laughs> wife could be anything. Love... Cut it down! Let me give you some of the examples. You, can I hear it in a phrase? Sure. Origin, it's Greek for you're an asshole that you're asking for. All references are available. <laughs> you're an asshole! Account. So Cambridge, uh, here are some examples. She's a really nice woman. Hmm. Apparently, Jeff has a new woman. She is Ireland's first woman equals female president. Ooh, that uh -oh. one's problematic. That's rough. Because it's basically uh -oh. saying that female is a synonym for woman. Whoops. Right. How dare they? Female, in quotes, equals uh, female. That is incorrect. That is transphobic. How dare they? Uh -oh. Wow, what happened to biology and gender? Oh, oh, no. separate. Oh, no. We were I'm wrong. pretty offended here. Yeah, well, you know what? Thank you. So am I, like it. as one who has respect for the English language. Yes. You know, and meaning for words. Former respect, I should say. Yeah. Formerly had respect. Former so meaning. That's then the definition, which brings us to now. Okay, guys, I just want to make sure that you're ready for this. You might want to prepare yourselves to get triggered. This is the dictionary definition of woman. Here's the change, okay? Cambridge, they added this new definition. In addition to the other ones, this is an addendum. An adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may have been said to have a different sex at birth. Right. I don't understand this. <laughs> Here's some examples. I don't either. Can I hear it in a sentence? Sure, you psycho. She was the first trans woman elected to a national office. Well, wait a minute. If she's a trans woman, and an, a, a woman is an adult who lives and identifies as female, though they may not have been said to have a, a different sex at birth. Should we not just be saying she's the first woman elected to national office? Well, she wouldn't be then, right? So are you a trans woman or are you a woman? Wishful thinking. What, what, hold on. Hmm. Why, if if it's woman, why do you have to say trans? Hold it! Yeah, they don't even respect their own Hold words. it! No. Because I, I thought that the definition covered that. Excuse me, sir, but you're breaking your own law. 
Maybe they had a meeting about this. Mary is a woman who was assigned male at birth. Again, we've just made up another term here. So now we've changed the definition of woman. Uh -huh. We've changed the de definition of dangerous, as we just talked about there. Jump here. And not really changed it, just broadened it to mean anyone who disagrees with me. But right here, there's also been something else in this very example that has been changed. Mary is a woman who was assigned male at birth. So before we even go down that road, I just want to point out that now this has gotten as far as the dictionary. It was bad enough when it was getting as far as the DSM-4 and the DSM-5 and, oh, technically tr uh, transition and transphobia and trans all this stuff. But now they are changing definitions in the dictionary. So if I am of the mind to have a very valid opinion, which I don't agree with what they are doing, they have now determined that according to the English language that they had defined up until two days ago, that I'm now a bigot. Make it make sense. We never use the term assigned. That is goofy, dumb, dumb, trans activist language. Doctors don't assign anything. If you have someone, I don't know what the, 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 the science is of studying turtles. I don't know. Are turtles asexual? I have no idea. The point is, they turn it over. No, they not. don't assign the genitals. They observe. They identify. They recognize it. They identify it. No yeah. one's assigning oh. anything. No one's assigning yeah. male any more than they're assigning brown hair. I'm going to assign you. You assign a task at work. You assign, assign means there wasn't something there before and you are assigning it, you're giving it, that wasn't already there. I'm not assigning this thing a mug. It already is a mug. That's what we've determined is a mug already. They also kind of paint themselves into a corner. Go back to the definition a little bit. They say, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> keeping a straight face talking about this is difficult. Go back to the definition. They say that you actually identify and live or live Oh, I see where he's going. He's saying an adult who lives and identifies as female. So you have to you have to not only identify, but you have to live as a female. Now, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. But they put it in there. So if you're not living as a female, then you are not a woman. And identify. As. So somebody who just identifies as a woman but doesn't necessarily always live as a woman, aren't you kind of now excluding a certain group of that population? Because don't people kind of float back and forth sometimes? Yes, they do. You're a luggage thief. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? You don't always, you don't always live. The luggage <laughs> thief, his, her, whatever. The daily schedule was win female beauty pageant, drop a deuce in the men's bathroom, and steal a Samsonite. Yes. And then, I just wanted to show you guys that this semantic obfuscation that I talk about, it's not just bullshit. It's happening right in front of our faces. It's happening right under our noses. If you don't pay attention to the things that I'm talking about, then this will continue. This will get worse. And maybe you don't care about this specific definition. But when they are changing the definitions of words in the dictionary, then you have something to worry about. Because there is some word that has some meaning that you do care about. Let it be marriage. Let it be money. Let it be health. Let it be anything else. Words have meanings. And if you allow them to continue to change what these words mean, then they will not only change the language, but they will also maintain the power to continue to change the language around whatever it is that you think and feel so that you are always, always, always the enemy. <laughs> Kelly on point says language controls reality. Language controls what we believe and what we believe controls how we act. We have to have a standard where words mean things and ideas are respected to the degree which they deserve respect. So if it's a good idea, it gets more respect. If it's a bad idea, it gets less respect. Maybe that's a crazy idea. I don't know. But I, I mean, 
That's what's got to be done. We have got to get rid of this postmodern, there's no truth but power, whatever. Nobody else is going to do it for you. So if you're waiting for this, that person to fix it, the next thing you're going to be doing, kicking yourself for not being that person. I want to thank you guys for partying with me tonight. This is an Indian Jesus party. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, this is what we do. If you haven't already done so, please hit that like button. That is the biggest thing that will help these parties grow. And if you definitely uh, don't want to miss any more of these parties, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you know they make it so shitty where you got to change it to subscribe to all notifications. And even then it doesn't work. So what would really help is if you guys could be the notification. Whenever you get here, just take the URL, plaster it all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, this, that, whatever. I have been your host, Lutch, a.k.a. the Indian Jesus, here to resurrect the second coming of common sense. Until next time, or until you see me in Discord in 30 seconds, I am out of here. Peace.